Okay, so this is, that's that I don't like South Korea version. I wrote these months ago, okay, and I never got around to doing it. I'm gonna do it today. Okay, let's go. First thing is the stuff that I do not like in South Korea. Sneezing, okay. Now I understand everybody has to sneeze, but I'm gonna need you to cover your mouth. Like I'm just, I'm just gonna need you to cover your mouth. You will be on the bus, the train, in the school, outside, it doesn't matter. Koreans do not cover their mouth. The younger children are starting to cover their mouth because, I mean, my children, I make them cover their mouth, but like the older ones or the ones who haven't been exposed to probably foreigners, they don't get down like that. And they'll just, just like that. Like, just like that. And you'll be sitting in your chair and they'll be in the one behind you and it, just like that. So, you know, germs, I'm not a fan. Just sneezing. It sneezes and coughing. That, that's number one. Like, I can't, I can't, I need you to cover your mouth, okay? Bus drivers. Bus drivers will not always stop for you to get on or get off. So in California, we have something called California roll, not the little sushi joint, but it's like, it's a California stop or a California roll. When you get to the stop sign and you don't really stop, you just kind of, ah, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. So the bus drivers out here will do that to you while you're getting on and they don't just do it to foreigners. I've seen bus drivers do that to like elderly people, like people who have to be late 80s 90s getting on the bus and they will not stop the bus to a complete stop like you're you're out of bounds okay now this one <laughs> this is never gonna change i know that it's just the amount of it what i don't like is all the rice it's it's too much damn rice it's it's like it's and it's all white rice like it'd be different you know we get some brown rice we get a little black rice we get a little blend it's all white rice all the time all for you um when you go to the restroom in south korea whether it's a public restroom um it could be the one at your school uh there will be a little waste paper basket in the stall with you and that is not for just blow your nose and throw your trash away it's not for you know feminine products it's actually for the tissue that you wiped yourself with so in Korea they don't they don't flush uh, the used toilet paper and to go along with that the traditional Korean toilets uh, still not a fan uh, you know what if people have bad knees you know you gotta squat down and you can't get comfortable like yeah no I, I, I and then you got the waste paper basket with the used toilet paper from from previous previous toilet goers yeah ah ah there is no word or phrase or grunt or <clears throat> okay for excuse me in South Korea you'll be on the bus or you'll be on the train and you'll be standing there, okay? And it'll be time to get off or for somebody to get on. And they'll just push you. Like, they'll push your bag. Your bag can, like, fall off your arm. Or they'll, like, you know, they're trying to get through so you'll get elbowed. There's no word for excuse me. There's just, I'm coming through, feel me. That's, that's just. Um, the Ajumas and the Joshis, which the Ajumas are the older ladies, the Ajoshis are the older men. Uh, especially getting on the, the bus and the train, they will push you out of the way. And a lot of middle schoolers, like when I go to school, um, they like make a mad dash to get on, like, like they're going to get left or something. And I just don't function like that. Like, I'm not going to get up, physically get up, to get on the tr bus or the train until it's in front of me. They'll get up and be standing in front when the bus is, like, down the street and hasn't even made the turn to get to the stop. And then when you get up, if you're in front of them, like, literally, they'll swoop. Like, it's just it's all swoop act action all day. Like, just, they'll be, like, deep back here and they'll just, like, swoop. 
And like one day I just was not feeling it and a middle a middle schooler had a crash course in like don't cut the foreigner because it is it's to me it's disrespectful and I'm you know culturally it might not be disrespectful to them but for a foreigner like I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to wait your turn like I'm gonna need you to wait your turn especially if you're younger than me like you haven't paid enough dues like that's just what time it is so um you know the older people I get it at first I was like okay what but you know it's respect level you want respect from younger people you're younger than them but they will push you like you'll be moved <laughs> um, yeah so right now it's as hot and it's like a million degrees with 90 percent humidity but in the winter it's like negative a million degrees um in south korea and it can get as cold as early as october right um they won't turn on the heater until like november like there's a there's a heater date and so you'll just be cold in the class unless you have a really cool school and they're like accommodating for you and they understand like you're a foreigner you don't get down like that they just don't turn on the heater i don't know but i don't like it driving skills there are no like crossing lights where i live so there's a street but uh, it's kind of automatic that the cars will slow down if they see someone crossing the street. However, I've seen somebody's shoe get taken off by a car tire moving because she didn't walk fast enough. So you really have to kind of shoot out there and just like kind of hope that they'll stop. Um, yeah, it's a little bit dangerous. Like if you've never walked you know if you've never had to jaywalk or something in new york if you have it'll be, it's a piece of cake it's like whatever just go you gotta time it it's common sense you just go but if you haven't had that experience it will probably be a little bit like okay i'm scared i'm going i'm gonna go find a light but like around my apartment there are no lights so you gotta figure it out i do not like the korean sat like that is for the birds like the, the amount of pressure that these like teenagers have even from elementary school the amount of pressure oh you know you have to take that you have to get a good university like these children there have been suicides out here and they don't like to talk about it they think it's taboo but you're you're continuing to give the damn test like what and then i was talking to another teacher and she was saying how during um break they still go to school and do self-study and and they never get a break they never get a break they never get a break to be their age and just have fun and what they're supposed to have fun for because they're always in school if they're not in public school during the day they're in hagwon if they're not in hagwon they may be doing self-study somewhere like it's ridiculous like it's ridiculous um i'm not a fan of that they need to change that whole system that whole policy like that shit is for the birds like that needs to be out i had an incident um <laughs> where a friend of mine and I were trying to get somewhere and we took a taxi and <laughs> it was in an area where the taxi drivers are used to foreigners um so I'm telling the taxi driver where to go and he told me no you don't know what you're doing I know where to go <laughs> I'm not going that way the taxi drivers especially in Seoul are very bold we've had one like drive on the opposite side of the street on a really busy street and then like pull over and try to make us walk the rest of the way like the taxi the taxi game in Seoul is really off the chain the taxi drivers in my city are really sweet very helpful very nice never had a problem but uh the ones in Seoul I've heard of them like sexually coming on especially to like melanin rich women in Seoul um uh, they're off the chain so you know if you're watching this and you're coming and you gotta take a taxi uh just remember this be cautious and make sure you know where you're going and tell <laughs> he kept saying like no open those open those open no <laughs> open those no 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 open those hey opa because you got us lost and then you wanted us to pay extra for your charades no i'm not going to pay you extra so he was trying to get you know no i'm not going to pay you extra i'm going to pay you how much it was when we were down the street from where we needed to go and i could see the where we were supposed to go that's what i'm going to pay you opa okay um the bus design 
Now, the Richard T. Davidson or the MTA back home in LA, you know, you get on the bus, you pay, and then you make a left, and it's all the seats. And the seats in the front face the people standing. So if you're standing up on the bus, people are facing you so more seats can fit. And then you go double row, double row, double. No, no, no. Korean buses, you get on, it's one, two, three, four seats facing the way that the driver's facing on either side. There's no double action, no triple action, nothing. It's like one, two, three, four, five, maybe. And then in the back, you step up two steps, and then it's like a total of eight seats. And that's it. I've even been on buses where it was like three seats in the front. So the bus design makes no sense uh, in Korea to me. In the summer, like right now, uh, fan death. Fan death. I actually asked my co-teacher about this because I thought it was like hogwash. But she says she believes in fan death. And the reason why she believes in fan death is because basically your body can get too over cold, get too cold, and it can cause problems and you could die. So all the fans in Korea have timers on them. Mind you, when it's 98 degrees in the middle of the night and you just want the fan on you all night, but it goes off every hour and you have to wake up every hour because you're sweating profusely in the bed to realize, okay, I'm sweating because a fan death timer has gone off probably 30 minutes ago. Um, and you have to wake up out of your sleep to turn it back on and then fall back into your sleep probably five times throughout the night. I was traveling a lot from my city to Seoul on the weekend for weekend trips and um, South Korea is a highly technolo te technological country technological country <laughs> everything is gadgets everything is like computer generated everything okay um, but when your phone rings, I want you to answer it. And I, I don't want it to be on loud. And I don't want you to stare at it while it rings mad loud on the bus when it's nap time. And you're just staring at it. So it'll ring and it'll be like, da -da 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 -da. and then they'll get it out and they'll be like, da -da 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 That's the shit I don't like. Okay, I'm trying to take a nap. It's probably late. I'm tired. Answer your phone, please. So this has been, uh, that's that I don't like South Korea version. Uh, I tag anybody else who is in South Korea or any other foreign country um, living there, teaching there. What are the things that you don't like about it? <laughs> Um, I know there's more, but these are the the most the most penetrating ones. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later. Bye.